During last year's Solstice event, I released a video covering some pretty crazy armor focusing strategies and how you could manipulate stats for triple 100 builds. You guys really seem to enjoy that type of content, so for those of you who may have missed it, I wanted to dedicate another video to armor focusing prior to Lightfall. Patch notes have been dropping like crazy, and some of the biggest news has been tied to armor changes, so it seemed like the perfect time to do this. Today, I'll be covering how armor focusing actually works, how you can manipulate stats to significantly improve your chances at a god rolled piece like this, and where you can find the best armor farms in the game currently for players of all skill levels. I'm above, and if you enjoyed today's video, a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Now, let's get into it. In the most recent set of patch notes, Bungie revealed that armor mods will be getting a complete rework from reduced mod costs, to the removal of armor affinities, to additions such as in-game loadouts, artifice armor stat bonuses, and much, much more. This means that our build potential could be even crazier in Lightfall, which is why you want to grind out the best possible armor rolls during the downtime before the new expansion. So without further ado, let's dive into how armor stats and armor focusing actually work. What most people don't know is that armor stats are divided into two substat families. The first group is mobility, resilience, and recovery, and the second is discipline, intellect, and strength. To keep it simple, you can just think of this as the top three stats and the bottom three stats. Legendary gear has a maximum drop potential of 68 total base stats, and within that, each substat family can drop with a maximum of 34 base stats as well. This means means you'll never see a legendary piece of armor with 40 base resilience, for example. You can obviously get there once you've masterworked a piece of gear and applied an armor mod, but the highest base stat that you'll ever see on a piece of armor is 30, and the lowest you'll ever see in a substat is 2. The only exceptions to this rule are certain pieces of blue gear and a couple forsaken exotics, but they are extremely niche and not really worth talking about for the purposes of this video. So to recap, Legendary Armor has a 68 roll maximum. Each substat family caps out at 34 total base stats, which leaves us with a max roll of 30 and a minimum roll of 2 in any given stat. We now have several examples of max armor rolls on screen. Shout out to my Discord members for providing these. And as you can see here, each substat family always caps out at 34. Some stats are spikier than others, which makes them more viable for double, triple, and yes, sometimes even quadruple 100 builds. So what exactly does this mean? Well, let's say you're a hunter main, and you've already farmed 100 mobility armor in previous seasons, but you're lacking resilience gear to reach that crispy 40% damage resist at tier 10 resilience. If you're anything like me, your first instinct would be to slot a resilience armor on your ghost, because, well, that would only make sense. If you're only looking for resilience, then definitely feel free to do this. But if you want to keep that 100 mobility and also get to 100 resilience, then you actually want to focus something in the other substat family. You see, when you slot a ghost mod, the focus stat often drops much higher than the stated minimum of 10. So if your resilience stat ends up taking 30 of our 34 allocated stat points, then your mobility will be a measly too. But if we slot a Discipline Ghost mod, for example, it leaves all 34 stats available to us for potential spikes in both mobility and resilience, helping you reach that 100 threshold in both stats. Now, that's a lot of numbers, so let's use a more practical example. I'll be using a Hunter in this example once again, because they are extremely stat-hungry characters. Let's say we want to build an Invis Hunter for Grandmasters this season. Season. You're gonna want resilience to stay alive, mobility to decrease the cooldown of your dodge, and strength to get your smoke back as quickly as possible. Recovery is nice, but other stats take priority for me. To maximize these substats, you actually want to focus strength on your ghost. This way, every time a piece of 
armor drops, it will always roll with a minimum of 12 strength, 10 will come from the ghost shell, and 2 from the guaranteed base in every substat. And this is just the minimum. This stat will often drop much higher. Here's an example of a piece that was created from strength focusing. This is a near max roll piece of armor with 67 total base stats. In this example, we rolled 26 base strength, which left just 8 total substats in intellect and discipline, which, to be honest, we don't care about as much for this build. This means that for the stats that we do care about, such as mobility, resilience, and recovery, we have a much higher chance to drop with high rolls as it did here. In this example, we have 17 base mobility and 14 base resilience, which is a near perfect piece of armor for the build that we're making. And this doesn't even have an armor mod on it yet. With this knowledge, you can manipulate armor drops to give you a much higher chance at a god rolled piece of armor with the stats that you're looking for. If you're a warlock looking for discipline and intellect, you could focus resilience for a much higher chance at those substats. And if you're a titan looking for recovery, you could focus discipline to help you spike the resilience and recovery that you're looking for. You can take the examples used in this video and apply it to any character and any set of substats stats to help you get the builds that you're looking for. And who knows, with the Artifice Armor changes coming in Lightfall, where you'll be able to choose a plus 3 bonus on each piece of armor, triple and quadruple hundred builds could be much more obtainable for a wider group of players. With all of that said, this information doesn't do us much good if we're getting 48 rolled stats from the tower. So here are the best places to farm armor in the game as it stands today. In my experience, Master Duality is by far the best artifice farm and overall armor farm in the entire game. The encounter is quick and the armor typically drops with very high substats. Here are just a few example of pieces that dropped from Master Keitel. Unfortunately, you'll need Need to wait until duality is the weekly feature dungeon before you can farm this and if you guys don't have a team to farm master dungeons with i've got you covered i'll be helping my community farm artifice gear all week long so make sure you swing by the stream at twitch.tv above and let me know you're from youtube so that we can get you a few runs in and hey, if you're not very social or you prefer to play solo, other top tier armor sources include seasonal armor focusing via Umbral Engrams, where you can use the seasonal unlock for high stack gear to unlock higher substats. Legendaires also tends to drop very high stat armor in my experience, and Pit of Heresy is another great source that drops with two guaranteed 16 plus base stats. As long as you have the right ghost armor or focus applied, you should start to see your builds come together in no time. Well guys, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed and learned something today, a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. And once again, swing on by the stream sometime at twitch.tv slash above so you can get your hands on some of the best artifice armor in the game. Anyways, that's it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace!